students, I am Kamaleshwar from Career Launcher, Coimbatore. Common University Entrance Test conducted by National Testing Agency. In this video, we are going to see a domain specific subject that is Computer Science that comes under this CUET exam. In Computer Science, as per the syllabus of NCERT books class 12, the same things are going to come for the CUET exam also. If you are going to prefer your course that is based out of computer science, then this is one particular subject you must choose. In this computer science, the syllabus that are going to come is going to be computer networks, exception and file handling in Python, stack, queue, searching techniques, sorting techniques, database concepts and database management system and structured query language. From which we are going to learn a few concepts that are very significant. Let me start with a simple question. What is network? When people getting connected to each other to build up their communication, this is called as a network. Probably a social network. The same thing when objects or computers are connected, it becomes a computer network. In computer networks, you would come across a term called node. I said connecting people or connecting uh, devices are going to be a network. Especially when it comes to computer, it is called as computer network. Now this each and every computer who is going to transfer data and receive data, send data and receive data is going to act as this node or host. How these data are going to be sent? They are going to be sent as packets. So the entire data is going to be broken into small blocks which are called as packets. And using two important things, TCP and IP as standards, TCP protocol and IP protocol. TCP is transmission control protocol, whereas IP is internet protocol. Transmission control protocol takes all these actions of allocating, reallocating, arranging these packets. Whereas internet protocol is going to manage the source and destination and make the information to reach its destination. Knowing this, the next part, what are the factors involved in this communication? There comes networking devices, modem, ethernet card, uh, registered jack 45, repeater, switch, hub, router, gateway, all these are going to be networking devices. Let's go one by one. Modem, if you look into modem, it is abbreviated as modulation and demodulation. So it is a device that is going to convert the data from the computer. So what will be this data from the computer? It will be in the digital form or binary form, which is zeros and ones. So this will be converted to analog signal, transmitted and at the receiver's end, what is going to happen is, it is going to again convert it back to its digital form. And this process is done using this model. Coming to next, the Ethernet card. Ethernet card is otherwise called as network interface card. So it is going to be a small hardware that can be found in any kind of computers. So it is uh, basically going to form a wired network when it is going to operate as a network. Then we come to registered jack 45. This one you would have seen in many places where we use something called LAN cable, local area network cable. So in which you will have an 8 pin plug and that is called as Ethernet cable or otherwise registered jack 45. Then we come, uh, come across something called as a repeater. So repeater is something which is used to repeat the signals. Basically, when a signal is going to be transmitted after a certain distance, it might lose its strength. To gain its strength, we are using this repeater and we are going to repeat the signal again and again till it reaches its destination without any loss.
and coming to a hub. So hub is something uh, where many computers can be connected into a single network. So it is going to have numerous ports through uh, Ethernet cable, right? So or as we discussed, registered 45 jack. Yeah. So with that, we can use this hub and a wired network can be formed. And coming to the next part, we have router, switch and gateway. So gateway is very simple, a device that is going to take care of all the entering and exiting of the signals, a small monitoring system. And whereas switch is going to act as a part, okay, receiving and sending to particular destination that is going to be done by the switch. Whereas this router is going to play the main role where it receives all the data and it is going to disperse for all the computers or computing devices that comes under this network. In any uh, home or uh, office, we could have seen a Wi-Fi router, wireless fidelity router, right? So which transfers data to everyone and even computers in a small room can be connected through this Wi-Fi. Knowing about all these things, the next thing is types of networks. There are different types of networks. It is called as PAN, LAN, MAN, WAN and what are these things? Let us look into them one by one. So coming to PAN which is called as private area network, this happens uh, in a very short range communication. The best example that I could give you, uh, if it is a wired one, you can take a USB cable. We we are connecting a mobile phone to a computer or a laptop using a USB cable. And that is the best example for a private area network. And then if it is a wireless Bluetooth. So Bluetooth is the best example to connect devices and transfer data. Then comes local area network LAN. In local area network, the size of the communication is going to bit increase compared to the private area network. As an example, we could take any computer labs that are in schools or even in colleges and any universities, right? So all the computers have been connected through LAN into a single network. And this is the best example. And then comes metropolitan area network, which is called as MAN. So any connection or communication is formed as a network in a city, a city wide. Okay, it is going to be metropolitan area network. So most probably most of the uh, telephone lines that we could see like broadbands and even uh, mobile towers. So they form this metropolitan area network. And then the last one is wide area network. So wide area network, it goes to a huger size in geography when it comes to communication as a network. So comparing with all the rest of the three, like MAN, LAN and PAN, this WA and wide area network is going to be having a much broader coverage in network. So these are the major uh, types of networks that we have seen. Now. Let me come to the next part, which is called as network topologies. So we have learned much about networks. Now, how these are getting connected, how these computers are getting connected into a network. So there comes network topologies. The first one is a mesh topology. So what happens in mesh topology? Each computer is connected with the other computer in the network. So ultimately, all the computers are interconnected. All the computers are interconnected. And that is called a mesh topology. In this case, it will be more secure and there will be no traffic. So traffic is going to be so much less when it comes to a mesh topology. Let us go for the next one, which is ring topology. In ring topology, a computer is connected to two other devices on either side as given here. So each and every computer will go with the same kind of connection and finally it will form a ring. 
And so what happens is the communication here happens either in clockwise direction or in anticlockwise direction. Moving to the next one, it is going to be a bus topology. In bus topology, there is going to be a single medium or channel to which all the computers are getting connected. And through this channel, the communication will be done, all the data will be sent. And what happens, whoever gets access to this bus will be able to receive that data. Star topology is considered to be the most effective one. Multiple devices or computers are getting connected to a single node, a single host. For example, again like a Wi-Fi is there and all the network or all the computers in the network are getting connected to it. So this will be the best example for star topology. Next coming to the tree topology. So in tree topology, it is going to go like a, a branches. So first a host and again there comes two different computers connected to it. Then again two two under these. So this is a simple example that we could take, take for a tree topology or otherwise even we could consider a hybrid topology. So what is this hybrid topology? A combination of any of the two topologies that we have seen earlier. For example, like a ring or bus or star, what happens here when they combine together, they become a hybrid topology. These are a few important topics when it comes to computer networks in computer science. Hope you enjoyed learning with us. Thank you and signing off, Kamaleshwar.